live from Toronto, Canada, it's theCUBE, covering Blockchain Futurist Conference 2018. Brought to you by theCUBE. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is theCUBE's live coverage here in Toronto, Ontario for Untraceable's Blockchain Futurist Conference, two days, this is day one of two days of CUBE coverage. I'm John Furrier, your host. Our next guest is Azam Shagagi, who's the Director of Public Relations and Strategy for Shivom.io. Really interesting story. Raised a bunch of money in 15 seconds in an ICO. Really interesting story. Welcome to theCUBE, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. So we were just talking on camera. You studied at uh, NASA in Northern California where I live and you've got this really cool venture. Before we get into it, talk about what you guys did with the ICO, then talk about the, what the company does. Sure. Um, the, the project Shivom is about owning your own uh, DNA. Um, so we are sequencing DNA uh, and uh, storing it on the patient-friendly pla um, platform of blockchain, uh, which actually give the power back to the donors and uh, the people that um, uh, have, um, I mean, the, and the users, basically. So basically you can monetize, manage, and... Uh, control uh, your data. Control your own data. And so how much did you guys raise? You did it in 15 seconds. Mm. Give us the numbers, what happened? <laughs> So we raised uh, 35 million, we reached uh, uh, the hard cap. Our public um, sale was uh, sold out under 15 seconds. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. And what month was that? Uh, it was actually on May the 3rd. So it was post after, I mean a lot of these actually went out last year, but still, that's really a good signal given it's, the climate at that time. Exactly, and I think it's about what you're actually, uh, your intention is in order to disrupt. We're yeah. talking about genomic. Uh, information. We're talking about healthcare, a very highly regulated yeah. industry, right? A lot of things that have been uh, untapped in the uh, in that sector. So hopefully, with the help of blockchain, AI, um, and advanced technology, we can disrupt. You know, I, um, Crystal Rose, who's the CEO of Sensei Token, um, when I interviewed her in Puerto Rico, she had a comment which I love. I still use to this day. She makes kind of like AI chatbots, really cool things. Your brain on the blockchain. Similar concept that you're doing, DNA. your DNA on the blockchain that you can own and manage for your own personal benefit and or value. Exactly. That's kind of the concept, if I get that right. That it is. Okay, who does the genoming? <laughs> uh, you mean the sequencing? Yeah, the sequencing. Uh, so, um, I mean, uh, right now there are companies out there that they do the, I mean, the, the so I got to get it done and then I bring it to the platform? How does uh, it work? So what we actually, we do, we, we, we have created the, uh, the web marketplace uh, for the industry players, right? For, for the donors, for the users, for the governments, hospitals, insurance companies, um, and research labs. Um, so basically after you sequence your DNA, we can, you, you can give it us and we, we, sequen we, we manage it and secure it uh, store it on the, on the blockchain. Obviously, we're doing a lot of partnerships with, the, with different companies and different ventures. Yeah. Uh, we, have, uh, we have an alliance uh, with different um, partners out there that we, we do, we're trying to uh, uh, promote that in terms of also helping uh, to develop the kit. So I get this right, you have so a variety of touch points for stakeholders service providers who do the service. Exactly. But the, and, the, and the users themselves. And the users so themselves. So if I get my DNA sequence. Why? Can I, if, if I get my DNA sequence, right. do I direct the provider to put on the blockchain or do I take it myself and put it on the blockchain? Uh, so when you sequence, well, okay. So you, you just sign up in our platform. Got it. And uh, after that you sign up in order to sequence your DNA, the kit would be sent out to you. Uh, so it's all through uh, smart right. contracts. So I use your marketplace we, and you do all the work. We do all the work. Got it. And how does the tokens work? Uh, so basically... The better the, the DNA, the more tokens you get? <laughs> I wish. Uh, it's oops. actually... <laughs> well, I wish it was like that. Yeah. Uh, well, but I, I don't think that there's a, there's a discussion of a better okay, you know, I know, I'm kidding. Like, uh, DNA. I'm afraid to get my I DNA know. sequence. I got all these diseases, who knows what I have. Alzheimer's or, you know. Well, that's you maybe know. why you should figure that out, yeah, right? Why don't point. you just sequence your DNA? <laughs> but, uh, but what was the question again? I'm sorry, sorry. So I use your marketplace and I instruct the search for put the DNA. How does the tokens work? Oh, yes. So the token is OMX token. So per transaction, uh, there is kind of like the, the token economics that actually has, uh, is, is kind of like being managed. For example, you, you donate your DNA to a research lab, you, you get a certain you know, amount of OMX. 
and each OMX is going to be worth, you know, um, some fraction to, to Ethereum. So some people might know 23 and Me. They right. do the mail order kit, same thing. I think some other folks have probably, I think Ancestry.com does something similar. How do you guys differ from them? Just decentralized or they're centralized, obviously. They're very centralized and there's also, there's, there's been research going on that they even don't know what is going on with after the sequence your DNA, where that information yeah. is going, how is it being stored, so it is all, kind of like company's um, yeah. uh, property after it is, like you kind of like basically sign yeah. an agreement that you would give out all the authority to them and they can do whatever they want to do with it. Yeah. So basically we are on chain and we are creating this economy wow. of uh, procession, so we are promoting procession medicine, we are promoting advanced healthcare and how we can tackle uh, rare disease, for example, like cancer, we just kicked off uh, two projects, one in India and one in Africa. So we, we partner with EMQT, um, a non-for-profit organization in Africa in order to sequence 100 people that has uh, sickle cell disease. Um, Talk about the team, the company, how big are you guys? What are you going to do with the funding? Where's the product? Take us a quick update on where you guys are at. Sure. Uh, we just actually, um, uh, we, we had a shuffle in our management team after the ICO, obviously. Uh, now we are uh, moving towards the product development. So uh, we are hiring a lot of developers. We are working on product development. Uh, we, are, we are on our roadmap and we are on track. Uh, obviously we have, uh, uh, initiated, in, initiated some of the partnerships and some of the pilot projects. Um, we, we are on our uh, marketing and innovative uh, kind of like PR strategy right now and with a new team. Um, uh, and what's the PR strategy? You're, heading, you're in charge of that. Is it outreach? Is it promoting the service providers? Get the marketplace out there? It's everything, yeah. uh, literally. So we are, like the first thing, that our first pillar is the community. Right. So we want to have right. the community right. you know, engaged in everything that we do. We, we keep updating them. We get, we get them involved. Uh, that's, that's what matters you know, with us. And we have an organic uh, kind of like community. Uh, we're very great supporters in Asia, um, in, in India. Um, I mean, all over the world, but uh, we are like very kind of like, you know, some some industry's favorite, um, market's favorite. Yeah, super right important. Now. Well, I love your mission. Love to keep in touch, getting loud in here, but I'd love to yeah. follow up with yeah, you guys. Yeah, obviously, and thank your, you so much for your time. Uh, people, it's a great project. I mean, it's one of those things where this is a real example of decentralization where you can use your own information and broker that for value, be part of studies, I'd imagine. Exactly. And engage with community. And create that impact. Great. You know. so, thanks so much for coming on, I appreciate it. It's CUBE coverage live here in Toronto, Ontario for the Blockchain Futures Conference. John Furrier, day one coverage. Thanks for watching.